Due to the ignorance of our host, parental discretion is advised. Welcome. A what? The... I don't want to just do an ad for these guys' drink <laughs> at the top of your show. Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. Um, <laughs> welcome back. Dude, how did it get so good? My guest tonight is one of my boys, my comedy boys. You're a... Uh... Cheers. God bless. God bless you, sir. I just had um, Ryan Irwin last week. Oh, yeah. How's that? How's back, that? Back-to-back comedians. Yeah. It was good. I've been wanting to have him since... Um. Since he opened for Whitney Cummings. Oh, but then yeah. He, but yeah. then he moved out, moved out of town. Yeah. And yeah, uh, he went to, yeah. He went to North Carolina. Yeah, he was in New York, too. He's I mean, in New he York now. He's there now. Yeah, you're mm-hmm. right. Okay. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. He uh, came in, blessed me with his presence for an hour. I was like, sweet. Dude, I'm like rocking, dude. No sleeves. I know. I I'm love a, it. I'm in shorts. I'm showing you some skin. Yeah, it looks good, bro. I was right? checking you out. Dude. I'm actually whiter than sour cream, dude. Look at. Yeah, right, bro. Right? No, are you. Who are you talking to? What are you? Uh, that's nothing. Really? What are you talking about? It's that's embarrassing, like, dude. Look at this shit, bro. Are you kidding me? No, I'm way white. But you are white, though. Yeah. I'm white for a brown. I'm pretty white, even for white people, though. I'm a ginger too. That's, so which is like the it's like the whitest white. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, you're like I've ex- you're pretty bad. I may as well be <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of like an albino white, but you know, my hair I got But hair it's kind of like yeah, but they, but you're the one you, you're one of those like so rare that we see you we're like, "Oh." Yeah, exactly. Just admire you, dude. Yeah, right. Well, you, sometimes you, if it's too sunny out, you can't cuz it the, I'm too oh, bright. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when just it reflects, yeah. By yeah. <laughs> yeah, they see me. They see an uh, uh, they see an entity. They don't know what it is though. You take your shirt off. You're like, oh. it's blind. It's blinding, dude. <laughs> My nipples look so red. You all have the time. sex with girls that are like, yeah, no. they're wearing like like fucking one of those uh, the tanning it? bed no, thing, the goggles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like the, the eclipse oh. fucking oh, the two yeah, color yeah, ones. Yeah, the eclipse <laughs> ones. Yeah. Yeah. Why is everybody freaking out about the eclipse? No, oh, not anymore. And is it just me or? They're like, oh my god, we're not gonna have this in like thirty thousand years, and then the next year we have another one. That's yeah, how I feel a lot. it. That's yeah, how you, I feel it. There's like an eclipse every fucking what? six months, dude. <laughs> it's like, why is this such a big deal? And then uh, also explain me this, right? So solar eclipse, right? Okay. Yeah. S O L. A R. A R. Yeah. For us, sun is sol in Spanish. Sure. Not sun. Why is it solar? Here's another one for you. Before you start thinking about that one. Lunar eclipse, right? Luna. Lunar, yeah. 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 For yeah, us, yeah. Lun- Lun- yeah, moon is yeah, Luna. Yeah, yeah. It's not moon. Aren't those like... Uh, it's not lunar eclipse. Are those, la- those are Latin though, right? Whatever they are, dude. They're not I yours. Think that's, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, fair enough. Well, yeah, the... The whole idea of like, oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen yeah, yeah. for a long time. Uh, there's plenty of shit that doesn't that we don't care about, <clears throat> dude. I I like, was I can't think like some funny examples for example, <laughs> like uh, and we're all just like I'll zoom in, <laughs> like the, uh, 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 you know, we'll never get dinosaurs again. People aren't really upset about that. Ah, uh, that's right, dude. You know what I mean, we're not getting Although, another but, JFK, yeah, but, dude. But but do we want dinosaurs though? Because I feel like they fuck shit up. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, how cool would it I'd be like to have? Like, oh my god! Like, we we bred a dinosaur. Well, they say and birds just, are dinosaurs. But then they're like, oh damn, he fucked up the Delta Center because he right. just he just walked right by oh. it and his knees. I just saw the new Godzilla and King Kong. And I mean, <laughs> pretty trash. Yeah, dude, it's awful. Of course. It's it's really bad. You know, there's there's some cool fight scenes, but the idea is like it's more modern. It's like, you know, present day and Godzilla's just kind of chilling around yeah, yeah. and he's just like, yeah, if he just, yeah, if they just walk through. Yo, how come Godzilla like, in a, like ends up killing everybody, like all the monsters and shit, but by the time he's done with this motherfucker, the city is like flat. flat <laughs> like flat, everything is flat. just destroyed. Yeah. So how many people die in order to kill this other monster? Might as well just blow the shit out of him. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, that's kind of part of the movie because, like, yeah, we can't, we got nothing for him. You know what I mean? We're not even ready for some kind of shit like that, though. 
No. Nah. <laughs> we're not. We're not. We can't even have. Feel like ourselves. you do that every time you hear it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just because I heard the shaking in the <laughs> headphone. Can't get used to it. Um. Nah, dude, we couldn't handle that shit. We can't even handle fucking. But what's the fascination about it though? Like, ooh, can you imagine we did it? Because like, have you ever seen like the ones like the actual bones all put together at a museum, and you see how humongous this thing is? Like, and I like people are fascinated, right? But I just go, I don't want to see that thing alive. Yeah, and people are gonna try to like fuck them too, and that's and gonna that, be a whole thing. That's right, dude. That's gonna be another another porn fucking yeah variety of, of videos. I now. mean, they're already kind of doing it, like furries and stuff. They could just dress as dinosaurs mm. and fuck each other too. What about the anime shit? I can't get in it. You, you don't have to. <laughs> don't worry. That's not a. That's not a problem. I thought I had to fit in. If you can't, uh, <laughs> if you can't get into it, no, that's probably cool. That's chill. Uh, yeah, you know, it's not something you have to be into. Um, I don't know, dude. I make fun of the anime people a lot. Yeah. I have some jokes where I make fun of them, and then, um, you know, I mean, a lot of them are autistic, so you got to be careful. Ah, uh, that's right. You know, but shout uh, out to my stepson. Yeah, God yeah. bless. Yeah. And to you know, your camera is this one. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then also shout out to you know uh, all the artistic people. Everyone under twenty five apparently too. So oh, they're artistic, dude. Everyone's autistic. Isn't that like a little bit of every, like a little bit of in every on all of us? I mean, pro I mean, yeah, because it's a spectrum, right? So it's like not. It's I mean, not like I, a I'm pretty sure I'm half thing. that though, because I'm not very bright. Uh, yeah. No, no, that's well, <laughs> no, <laughs> what you gonna say? no, because they're smart. But like everyone's saying, you know. All these young people are saying that they're autistic now because, like, it gives them a personality. It gives them something to, you know, I have overcome this thing. It's like playing the oh. victim. It's always like a, here's something that I overcame and I have autism. It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> like, it's that and then bipolar and uh, bisexual, all that shit. Yeah. I mean, obviously a lot of people are, but there's so many people who are ruining it. For them, for, for the for the real ones, yeah, exactly. Because yeah, yeah. they're like, yeah, dude, people claim autism, like it, it's it's nothing, like it's nothing. It's like me, dude. When I see a Mexican with the accordion music and blasting it on the on their on their car, yeah. I go, I just feel like saying, we're not all of us like you, though. Right, the majority are not. Well, I don't know. I spent a lot of time in, in, Mexico. <laughs> in California, yeah, yeah, and Tijuana, dude. <laughs> a lot of you like that, but that's what it is because it's it's uh. It's um, like that's northern music. Like when people to say that's Mexican music, it it, it fucking it boil it boils me because yeah, that's northern Mexico music. Now Mexican music, mariachi. I listen right, to that. Right, I right. listen to that. No problem. Yeah, we just had the fights last last week. The local fights and uh, um, there was a couple of Mexicans fighters that came out, and one of them had like the accordion music, and I was like, <sighs> like MMA. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like local ones in Provo. Oh. I didn't know they did that. Yeah, yeah. and so cool. uh, they they came out and and one of them comes out with like the accordion shit and I go, oh. and he's and I'm not gonna lie, dude. There's part of me that goes, oh, the guy loses. <laughs> Man, you turncoat. <laughs> I told you I'm white. He fucking. I, but dang. but then but then the other guy came out and he was like straight mariachi shit. And I'm like, oh, that's my guy. That's my mm. shit. And then he ended up being this. Well, they both won, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Everybody wins. If they had fun, they both won. Yeah, you have fun, right? That's all it's about. I mean, yeah, I've been working on this. I've been working on this new bit about, um, you know, because, like, my, uh, I got a little brother, and uh, he's my half-brother. Oh. And he's 14. Okay. And his, we have different moms. Mm. And uh, his mom's Mexican. Her whole oh, family's okay. from, like, Tijuana and stuff. And so... Um, I'm working out this, trying to work out this bit because I, you know, I saw them not long ago, mm -hmm. and and it's just funny watching like my grandpa interact with my little brother because mm -hmm. it's like old. He's like an old school Mexican dude, yeah. and then my little brother who's like kind of autistic. Because <laughs> like you know, I wouldn't, you know, those are two cultures yeah, yeah. I didn't think I'd see like, clashing like that. And in the bit, when I tell the joke, you know, I I do the voice. What my grandpa sounds like. Oh, because he like sounds because he's like, kid. oh no, <laughs> no, but because he's like, you know, and he's, you know, it's like a pretty stereotypical, like, accent or like voice. Yeah. But it is what he sounds like too. Yeah. And it's and man, it's it's tough to get it to work out here. I, it's what I've noticed. It's pretty new, but the few times that I've done it, 
the more diverse the crowd, the better the it better lands. Because it's yeah, all yeah, these yeah. fucking guilty white people. Yeah, that's right. But that's it's right. like black people and Mexicans, like, they fucking, they love that shit. Like, if the joke's good, <clears throat> they like it. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're, oh, you can't, you can't Dude, do that I, I, I told uh, one of the things that Justin and I do, let's just send each other memes and jokes, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, left and right. And the dirtier they get, like the ones that we that we know is like, hey, this one's gonna get pulled down soon. So sure. watch oh, it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> so I love those. But the ones that are all, that are, are made by Latinos are the ones that are like they are the the most powerful because. And I, t- I I used to tell them this all the time, like if you go to Mexico, like if you're fat, you're gonna get called fat. Sure. If yeah. you're skinny, you're gonna get called skinny. If you're dumb, you're gonna get called dumb. Like there's that's a, just how it is. There's a talk show, uh, Gordo. Y la y flaca. La flaca. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like <laughs> it's literally just named fat and skinny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's like, and and dude, and if you're gay, oh, they'll let you know. You know, you don't hear the end of it. But on the other side, the gay person is like, like he defends himself, like, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna make you gay. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, it's, it's we're that, just having fun. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, not, yeah. It's not back and forth. Right. It's, it's not like it's not don't like, talk oh to my me god, like how dare you? Dude, yeah. On this, on the nowadays. On the soccer games, this started in Mexico when the local, so when the, the the visit team, the one that's visiting, when their goalie has the ball and he kicks it, like puts it on the ground, gets a couple steps back, all the people start going, Ooh, and when he kicks it, hey. the whole stadium goes, puto, oh, you know what I mean? That, yeah. And that, that's great. right now, because... Because in the la- I want to say it started happening because it, it's common in Mexico, and I want to say I may be mistaken, I may be making this up, but I think it was the last uh, World Cup that they started doing that, and then they they shut it down. They're like, really? if you guys don't stop doing that, we're not gonna play. Wow! And so that's the way they're they're kind of attacking everything. Yeah. But like, if you go to Mexico, it's like I've heard of this a couple of games when they're like, hey, you, you can't just you can't just say that. Jeez, that's but, lame. But in Mexico, it's like the, the, yeah, they just say, they tell listen, like it I, is, man. I I grew up calling my 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 friends the f word. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And guess what? Nobody took it personal. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just kids. That's yeah. just kids too. They're, man. they're but just like, like <clears throat> yeah. Mexicans are pretty real with that yeah. shit, man. And they, like I say, they will they will give it back to you. And and it was until one of them sucked me off. I was like, I'm done. I, I'm right. not gonna make went, fun. Yeah, I've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna, I learned. That's I've fair. learned now. That's fair. Okay. I shook his hand, and yeah. um, we lived together for a couple of months. Yeah. No, I, was, I saw the pictures on Instagram. It was really beautiful. How you been, dude? You sexy piece of meat. I'm all right. You know, I'm trying to keep busy. I did a dry bar special. That's right. That's like, right. Not that long ago. Like a month or so. Yeah. That was cool. Um, you know, you got to be super clean, which yeah, kind of, you know, which is... A good challenge. That's yeah. what I'll say. It's good for writing, you know. But, um, you know, I'm happy to have done it. It's cool. Um, and, uh, you know, it'll be good. It's a good credit to have, yeah. you know. Hopefully I can get some, like, corporate gigs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, then I've just, you know, been on the road a little bit, too. I was in, like I was telling you, mm-hmm. I was in Vegas a few weeks ago. Uh, I was in Boise this weekend with my boy, Pete. Nice. Um that was cool. They got a cool little club out there. How's how's Wise Guys Vegas? Dope. Really? Both of them. There's two yeah. now. <clears throat> so they got the. That's right. There's one that's been there for like two years, and then one that's been there for not even a year. Dude, Keith, Al- Keith Almighty is busy, dude. Dude, he's building an empire. I say this every time I'm on this podcast, but he he still is. And, and I and I love it. And I I yeah. cannot I cannot just stop sharing everything. And I and I <clears throat> like I say I wanted to go so bad, so mm-hmm. bad. I wanted to go. Oh yeah, the, and, yeah, and then and and then, and then I'm just like now I'm here hoping that he will do it again. He will, he will. He nice. loves it, dude. The so only his, why, the only why pro- did it take so long? Uh, I don't know, honestly. I mean, I I don't know. I I, I like to think you know some of us younger guys encouraging him. Oh, you know what did help actually was the uh, opening the Rickles room. Oh, okay. Because he popped in on a few shows. <laughs> oh, nice. On there, so I, he popped on Rodney's show a while ago, and then he and then he uh, stopped. On, uh, did sets on my when I headlined it mm-hmm. like a few months ago too. So, um, 
and you could tell because like when he was when he did mine, he only did the Saturday show. He was supposed to do both, um, but he he didn't want to do Friday, and he bailed on the last minute. He just got someone to take a spot, and then he even told me after because I was bugging him all the whole time. I was like, "Are you doing it?" He's like, "I don't know. I don't really feel like it." I'm like, "What are you talking? About? What are you doing, man?" And then he he told me after I got off stage that last minute he had a change of heart. He's like, you know what? Actually, I do want to do a spot. And then he went back, and I had, I was walking on stage at the nice. time. And then he was like, yeah, I wanted to, but you're already getting on stage. And I was like, uh, what the fuck? What are you doing, told man? Me. <laughs> you're fucking around. <clears throat> and so I was like, tomorrow, you're doing it. You're yeah. doing it tomorrow. So for the Saturday show, it was Shane Smith was... Okay. It was... It was supposed to be Shane, Keith, and me. It was mm-hmm. supposed to be just Shane and me, and then whoever yeah. popped in. But, um, and so I was telling Shane, I was like, Keith's doing it. He's going to do it, right? So call him. Call yeah. him on stage after after you. And then there was this whole back and forth because Keith was like, nah, I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. And then I had to go f- track him down. I was like, he's calling. He's going to call your name. So you better you better be there yeah, when he introduces. He's going to introduce you. Don't Either. embarrass us in your club. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was like, he's going to introduce you, yeah. so you better be there when he does. And, uh, yeah, so that one he did. He, was, he said, he's like, I'll just do, like, five minutes, you know. He ended up doing, like, 15. Nice. <laughs> like, nice. Uh, so, and you could tell, dude, like, as soon as he started, it was like, man. And I was just hoping, now that you say that, I was hoping, I'm, I'm, I was hoping, oh, hopefully now that he just jumped on stage and he did it again after so many, because it's been years, right? Yeah. He's got the itch of like, oh yeah, now I know why I did this. Or like, I don't know. I mean, I mean I it's cool to see him because he was getting, he was actually like, you know, he was kind of nervous. Can about, you imagine you guys are all boom? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Uh, but he was saying he's like, <laughs> as I was walking with him to the showroom, uh, before like, right before he went on stage, he was like, he's like, what should I talk about? I was like, I don't fucking know. You're Keith so Stubbs. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, you got it. And then he, he was just riffing. Yeah. He was riffing. There was like this row of babes in the front, and he was like talking to them. He kept, he kept talking to them too. Yeah. And at one point, he goes like, he's like, you know, you're like the hottest woman that have ever walked into this club, right? And he goes, and he goes, and you're not even that hot. Dude, the crowd went ballistic. The crowd went nuts. They loved it. And, uh, and so I think... Doing those little guest spots, I think he was like, "Fuck, dude, I gotta do yeah. it." Yeah, that's what my friend said. Because, like I said, she ended up going with her with her husband, mm-hmm. and, uh, and 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 well, I'm not shy to say she's been here. She's a she's a she's a a sexual a sex educator. Oh, okay. Um, but she also likes to party with her man, and they like to involve other people. Yeah, and so, I'm not saying anything. Yeah, I mean, swingers. she's she's been here. She's said it. Yeah. And uh, so they're hanging swingers. out. So they're hanging out with this friend, and then they both go. And and she told me, oh, they make fun of us because he was my husband, which is a big guy, like a ball guy, very, very muscular looking mm-hmm. guy. And then he has his two hot women right next to him. So Keith just started pointing at him, and making fun of him. Was that the Saturday one? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I was there for that. Oh, yeah, yeah? I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. So no, so that's my that's my friend and her husband. That's funny. And uh, and uh, yeah, and the freebie. Yeah. Man, God bless him. Dude, I don't know. I, I like I said, I went to the fights in Provo. There's always that one guy that walks in with like three whores. God damn. And I'm like, how do and this and they know it too. Right. Like, well, let's let's yeah. dress to impress. Yeah. And everybody's like, you know, they got the the, the jeans. And this these girls are like the fucking Yeah. Tied up dress. It's God got the, it. the the open all the way to the thong. And then they sit and then they cross the legs and God bless. Him. I don't know if you know this, but your boy seem to feed. So some of those got some. You are? Oh, yeah, dude. Sure. Some of those not? have the open toe shoes. It's, it's a buffet dude, for my boy. Oh, dude. Yeah. It's like live porn. Oh, that's cool. How nice that what you're into, you get to see <clears throat> right? so much. Especially now that summer's coming on, too. You're going to have a fucking oh, dude, field day. It's already happening. Dude, your boy goes to the fucking grocery shop, and I'm like, well, I hope I don't get hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. I would be like you walking somewhere and just be like, titties all over. Wait, why? I'm a titty guy? No, I'm saying like that's the equivalent. I don't know. Are you into feet? Eh. I mean, I don't, oh, I don't, I don't, find, them, I don't find them gross, but like I'm not, I don't have like a thing for them oh, the way people he's not do. not going to suck them. Uh, no, I'll throw oh, some digits no, in. Oh, nice. Yeah, but it's not like, but I don't, I'm not like, oh, fuck, 
your feet are so hot. What? <laughs> like I never think that. And like if well, I'm when walking you say around, like that, I look like a fucking. And creep. if I'm walking around, like I don't even look yeah, yeah. for any reason, you know. But in the in the moment, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, for sure. Throw a goddamn little pinky to, in there or something. Yeah, but yeah, sometimes dude. the big toes are too big, and it's like, oh, I'm I hear you, that, dude. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah, some of some sometimes they're like, oh, and that's and it's not like an every time thing either. It's just, uh, yeah. yeah, what do we got here? Fuck it. But nice. Well, you partake on toes. That's how I, I like that. Yeah. A lot of people don't. St- you gotta be. We're already. We're already here. That's yeah. how I feel. Yeah, yeah. It's like we're already we're doing here for this. a fun time, not a long we're just, time. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? And then, you know, dude. When I when I open that part of my life here in the studio, I thought I was gonna be the leader of some fucking cult. Be like, oh, this is our man right there. He decided to. You thought you were gonna be the yeah, guy, yeah, dude. I nah. thought people were gonna follow me and be like, yeah, let's all into his toes and shit. Not one person. I mean, I'm, I was made fun of. Yeah, well, that's a, yeah. Of yeah, course, you're gonna given. get made fun of. But like, I mean, no, because there's also what's his name. Uh, or uh, the Stiff Socks podcast, you know, that's Trevor Wallace and um, Blaustein. <clears throat> I know who you're talking about. I mean, fucking oh, yeah. half the podcast is talking about yeah. feet. Yeah, it, which they have had. Uh, and if you're watching, Trevor, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I can't wait to uh, do the shows with you <laughs> at the end of May. Oh, you're doing them again? Yeah, he's coming nice. to Wise Guys, though. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, you know who I should go see Those again? great. You know who I should go see again? Um... Joe List. Yeah, he's great. Just because the last time that he came, uh, I went with some people that weren't the most quiet Uh-oh. and paying attention. You guys get a talking to? Uh, no, not necessarily, but I just I just know how I like to do my shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I know I want to be, you've seen me, I want to be there early because I want to be in the front and the fuck, I mean, every seat is good. But I just like to be right there. Like sure. I, I it, just in get my, lost in, in the in show. In my head, I'm like, make fun of me. Uh, like I, I don't care. Like I, I want to enjoy it. Yeah. And and we ended up being on the side because we we were waiting for one, some of them, and and then right in the middle of them, they like got up, and then they went to I don't know smoke or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Man? Uh, David Tell's coming. You got to go to that. I have tickets for that. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> that's one that I want. And those girls that went to Ogden, or the girl and the husband, they're coming too. Oh, cool. Yeah, I convinced them. We have tickets for like three months already. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Those those sold out quick. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing shows this week. I'm going to try to get on those Atel shows, but. So I who think the term I, is that? Keith Almighty? Yeah. Everything goes through him. Yeah. yeah. But so. so but, I, I imagine people have been asking to get on this one for. Yeah. Since, so what, since it was announced. So what's, what's the difference that a, a, like a well-known act comes here and some people fight for that one and then some people fight for another one? Like, what's the difference? What do you mean? So, like you're saying... People want to work with who they like. That's mostly it. Mm. You know? Um, that's, that's mostly it. Yeah. And then a lot of people also aren't, like, super comfortable, you know, asking yeah. to get on shows, so they won't do it a lot, and they'll just save it for those few that they do want when they come to town or, you know, stuff like yeah. that. Um, I just ask for everything. Yeah. I just always bothered them. Hey, can I, you know, do you need a host this week? Do you need a host? Every week I would do that. Now I don't really do it as much anymore because he, he'll ask me. Mm-hmm. He's like, what are you doing this weekend? You, you, nice. You know, and so that's cool. Um, uh, so, you know, um, and other times too, it's like, sometimes they're like last minute. If mm-hmm. you're just, I, sometimes I've been just hanging out at the club and then he comes out, he's like, Hey, they, they need a host. You want to do it? And you're like, <laughs> fuck yeah. All right, let's go. For sure. So that's cool. But yeah, it's usually just people just want to work with like their favorites. So they'll wait for that. So what's, what's the difference on... Well, there's a known ad comes here, but they have their own people. Usually, I mean, a lot of the time they, they you know, a big, like the big names yeah. usually bring someone. Uh, they'll bring an opener. Mm. Um, and then, you know, a lot of the time they'll, they'll, they'll get the host from the club. Mm. So, like, I'll host mm. or any of these guys. And then it's their feature and their opener. Sometimes it's just them. So then, you know will book a feature and a host. And then sometimes they want just a two person show like Sam Morrill. Mm-hmm. He just, it was just him and Gary. So 
that's yeah it kind of varies like that so like sometimes like i'll ask for a i'll ask him hey uh would love to you know do this one is that how you text mm-hmm okay yeah i move my phone like kind of a lot side to side um it makes a lot of errors <laughs> <You got> like, <laughs> it takes a long time to text you got like anything. keyboard keys in there huh? yeah yeah <laughs> you like hit the backspace yeah i'm only hit, only actually hitting two i'm hitting d and k just over and over <laughs> um <laughs> But yeah, and then like when I asked for Shane Gillis, you know, it was like ah, uh, I don't know who they're bringing, and then yeah. it's like last minute, you know. So he was just here. Did I miss him? No, no. Last time. Last time. Or like the first time. Mm. Yeah, I didn't end up getting it. Yeah, I got. <clears throat> I want to see List. I want to see. I'm. I'm going to see a tell. Um, there's a couple of them that I. I haven't looked. You gotta come to. Get. Soder, Chad Daniels. Yeah, I never seen Soder. You gotta see him, dude. Yeah. He's like one of my favorites, is actually. He? Yeah, he just had uh, on his podcast. He just had a Joe Senegato, which is one of my favorites uh, podcasters. Yeah, forever. Ago. Yeah, yeah. He just I've, had, seen, I've seen his stuff. Yeah. And they've had uh, what's his name again from Stiff Socks, Trevor. Yeah, they had it, yeah they had him on his on this podcast too. And then they went to. These two black British guys that are becoming famous on podcasting. Can't remember who they are. I don't know. But anyway. Are you doing black the podcast too? Mine? Yeah. I took a break because my dad died. Oh, damn, dude. And, Sucks. Uh, Sorry about so that. So I was like, thanks. I was going, I was like really bummed out. Yeah. And I also didn't want to <laughs> talk about it on the pod, but I also yeah. knew that I couldn't do it without talking yeah. about it. So I just wanted to give it some time. Did you post anything about it? Mm -mm. No. The fuck? I don't know. It's not for it's not for you. That's fun. Well, that's that's what because I because I, I think it's, I think it's gross. Honestly, when people do <clears> that. No, because obviously I follow you, right? But yeah. I just like this is the first time I hear it. But yeah, exactly. But, that's but, the point. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> purpose, but, but, yeah. uh, but as a consumer, you're saying I didn't want to go on the podcast and talk about it, but nobody knows. Like we didn't know, right? And I wanted to keep it that way. I know, but. Why not doing the podcast without saying it? Well, now I well because I because I knew that I couldn't like oh. I was just in in a rough spot, yeah. And I didn't want to like just be bummed out yeah. on my podcast. Has anybody ever told you? I just look at you. I don't know if it was my squinting or you the way you were laughing. You kind of look like a Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I get that a lot. Oh wow, yeah, huh? You got powers too. Yeah, Bradley Cooper. Really? Yeah. No, I've never got that. Uh, like I've a heard younger version. You, the younger, I mean, I'll take it. The I younger, the, drunker I version. Of I don't have the <laughs> jaw or the chin <laughs> of uh, B Swizzle, but um, so yeah, the podcast took a took a break. Nice. But uh, lining up some guests oh, cool. to you know keep it going. Nice. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't post about. It. I think it's weird when people post about that stuff. I mean, do what you whatever you want. Yeah. But. I don't need a bunch of comments of people saying like oh, I see shit and people who don't know him. We had a complicated relationship mm -hmm. too. Like it was just a whole weird thing. So I just did not feel. So w was this here or where he died? Yeah. He died in Tijuana. He was living there for the last like fuck, few handful of years. But, but is he from Canada? Canada? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's from sh Chicago and then lived in Canada and then San Diego and Tijuana, yeah. He was going through some tough shit. Damn. And then, uh, yeah, living in Tijuana, he was, like, kind of homeless. And then that's why he moved there. And then, yeah. He was, like, he had, like, a lot of problems with um, uh, Oxy. Oh, damn. killers and stuff, yeah. It would be prescribed to him, but, <clears throat> I mean, so. Yeah. Fucked, him, fucked him up. It's so crazy. My, my mother right now, it's in a... It's in a trip of, like, fuck pills. I'll just do it naturally. Yeah. <clears throat> and she's doing, like, the diets and the, and the, uh, the you know what she, you know what she just gave me? In a, in, and I didn't know this. She sent me a video of a, of a lady with, like, a uh, Middle Eastern accent. Just, like, a doctor. And so, obviously, I heard Middle Eastern. I'm like, checks out. It's legit. Mm -hmm. Uh, but she was talking about the cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the cayenne pepper has, like, all these fucking benefits for you. And me, as a person with high blood pressure, if you put cayenne, like, a little bit, like, you dab 
a little bit of the cayenne pepper into like a half glass of water and you mix it and you drink it every day, your blood pressure was lower. Really? And so she just gave it to me on Sunday, <clears throat> yesterday, and this morning was the first time I had it. Like, well, let's see what this does. Yeah. Well, you have to report back. <laughs> yeah, no I'm shit. interested in that. Yeah. Why you you got blood pressure? I don't know. I'm I drink a lot of rock stars though. Oh so. damn. Yeah. That's I gotta wake up. Well, yeah, but I always drink one but, before. But don't you get used to it though, to the point that you don't do anything? Like I yeah, could drink sort of, yeah. Like I could drink exactly. coffee late at night and it, I still pass out. It doesn't do yeah. shit. Yeah. Red Bull's n- <clears throat> nothing for me. I need two hundred and forty milligrams. Yeah, oh, I didn't mean to. Sorry. No, it's like, it's, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I was trying to say something funny, but I heard a man's voice, so I had to say. Oh, I heard a woman's voice. <laughs> did you? I did. Yeah. It was last time you were here. You're like, oh, sorry, my kids are here. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I was. You know what I said one time, but it was before. It was before we started recording. Uh-huh. I heard kids too, and because I'm so used to being a dumbass. Yeah. It was my guess. The first time I meet this person, I'm like, oh, sorry, my girlfriends are here. And it was just... <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. I'll be um, right up, babe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. stop. Oh, shit, dude. See, that's <laughs> fun because... <laughs> what? Because that could not... No, it's funny. That's a funny thing to say. It's kind of even funnier if it doesn't land with yeah, them, yeah. though. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Because then it's like... All right. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> <laughs> See, I know there's somebody like you. Like most of the friends that I have would appreciate that. Yeah, of course. But, they, but, but if someone but, doesn't. Yeah, like, but it's somebody that I just met. I and think it, that's very funny. And it was just like, bah! and I'm like, hey, so I'm like, sorry, my girlfriends are here. And, and then I just went, I looked at him and he was like, yeah. And I was like, God damn Yeah, it. that's even kind of better sometimes <laughs> when it doesn't, when the joke doesn't work. Um, I made it a pretty inappropriate joke last night, too. Oh, yeah? We were watching... Okay, so my buddy, my roommate and I, Colin, we watched... Uh, we just... We watched all of the, the Big Bang Theory, mm-hmm. and we did it initially as a as a joke. Mm-hmm. We were like... Because we both, like... We would just shit on that show, yeah. you know? Like, man, that fucking show sucks. And then when they were talking, we were like, it'll be funny if, like, we sat down and watched all of it. And then we did. <laughs> and we stuck to it. And, like... <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, so then we started watching Young Sheldon. It's like we got to keep it. Oh, we got to watch man. the prequel, and we're forcing ourselves to watch shows that we, at one point, hated. You know, so we're, or just that we think are really bad or yeah. stupid, for a joke. Yeah. And you might have to cut this, but <laughs> in Young Sheldon, you know, I won't. He's so a little you kid, yourself. and there's you know he's got his siblings. <laughs> uh huh. And so he's, I don't know how, he's like, t- it's supposed to be like, what, 10 or something? Ten, or no, he's nine years old in the first season. And he's got like a, a sister, I guess around the same age, right? But in the Big Bang Theory, when you meet his sister, you know, uh, when they're adults, she's like a fucking smoke show, yeah. right? And then we're watching Young Sheldon, and it's a scene with the kids and whatever <laughs> I said. And I was like, okay, so what do we do with the information that she's going to be smoking hot? Anything? Uh, we I don't see. do anything about that? Okay. I see where you're going with this. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, no, there's nothing to do about that. Like, All right, just check it. Just making sure. Because she's... G- <laughs> yeah. I don't... There's there's something about shows that are trying to milk so they make them younger that I can't stand. Everybody Hates Chris was one of them. Chris, yeah. Chris, Chris Rock. Yeah. When he was younger. Young Sheldon. Uh, what's the latest one the, with The Rock? The rock is like younger. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like, I don't know. Oh. yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, yeah, it's so far we don't like it, but we have to do it for the bit. So, how how many hours are we talking about? There's guys, 247 episodes of The Big Bang Theory. And it's a half hour each? No, they're like 20, 20 oh, I guess, yeah, no to 22 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So, we would, but we would, we fucking went through it, dog. We would watch like four hours, like stretches, like, and then we, and then, Oh, then we also would sing along to the, to the. Oh, I've never been able theme. to. Cause we it, did it, it every time. <laughs> well, it doesn't really speed. Only the pictures on the screen speed up, and that's another thing we would do too. We would pause <laughs> at a, a random point, and then we would have a discussion about what <laughs> what was on the screen. <laughs> but it's just like regular shit. It's, it'd be like you know Mount Rushmore or yeah, fucking yeah. you know wind turbines. Shout out to Panda. She's a hottie. Dude, she was twenty one in that. Pi- she was twenty in the pilot. 
like 21 in the first season. Give me a fucking break. What's her fucking name? Kaylee Cuoco. Kaylee Cuoco. Well, it's hyphenated now because she's married. Something else. Yeah. I thought she got divorced. Did she? I thought she got divorced. Let it, figure it out. You better figure that out. Let me soon. call. Let me give yeah. her a call. Give her, get her on the horn. Get on the, uh, come on the show. There you go. Hear that, Kaylee? Come to the, come to Wise Guys. Kaylee's also the name of my first kiss. Damn, yeah, dude. It wasn't a guy, was it? Mm, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Mr. Kaylee Williams. Dude, first Williams. kiss? I must say, and this is kind of embarrassing, I, for my first kiss, <laughs> it's going to sound pretty shitty. For my first kiss, it was an, a lot older person than me. And oh god, and she was uh, for lack of a better words, nanny of my sister. Were you molested? No. Oh, okay. Not good. by her. I thought though. it was one. Not by her. I, I I was I was molested by a guy. I, um, I don't I, know if you. I could was call just it. making sure this story wasn't. No, you no, got no, no, molested no, no, no. By no. I like you did I like that okay. one. I like that one. Um, Your sister's nanny. Yeah. How much older than you? Uh, I was probably. 14, 15, uh-huh. she was probably I mean, 21, 22, 23. Whoa. Mexico, dude. Golly. Y'all are just up to no good out there, huh? Holy shit. Yeah, yeah they don't that's give pretty, a fuck. I mean, that chick's out of her fucking mind. But that's another thing, though, because now I look at it, like, it was, it was, I mean, it's not like she was good looking. Mm. But it was that's just right bad. there. And I could grab her ass. She didn't care. Wow. I mean, yeah, and when you're a child, you're yeah. going to want to do that stuff. Well, don't say child. Like you I'm were. Like, but, but don't, but no, but you're making it sound like I was, I'm a toddler. No, you were a child. I was 15, dude. Yeah, a child. Just because Mexicans are uh, fathers at that age doesn't mean... <laughs> just because they're, ha- they're having just children have doesn't mean they're not still children. Responsibilities on it. Yeah. Just because you also have a child doesn't mean you're not a child anymore. If you're 15, you're a fucking kid. That's true, though. Yeah, that's a clip. Yeah, there you that's go. a clip. Yeah. <laughs> that's even want to get canceled, yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Hey, last time we talked, you and I, uh, I, I figured you have never been to any Mexican place, right. uh, food-wise, other than... Betos. Other than Betos. Rancheritos. I was going to bring you some food, but it was from another place that is a lot better than Betos. But I figured if I buy the food and I bring it here, I mean, I have to leave early the house. It was going to get cold and shit, so oh, it wasn't yeah, going to yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I brought you some what? Mexican candies. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Do uh, they have lead in them? Yeah. yeah. They are sweet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. uh, Yeah. Um, and I've, I've, I've brought this a few times here because I had uh, Justin do the same. This one right here. Everybody knows this one. It's called. I've seen that. Yeah. Have you had it? I don't know if I've had it, but I've seen a lot of that. What do you think, dude? It's basically paleta payaso. Yeah, so paleta means uh, like a, like popsicle, marshmallow, chocolate flavored coating. You yeah. can't go wrong with. Oh, dude. Are we, now, you want to try it right now? No, this is all you. Oh, I've, well, I've had right this now? my entire childhood. You or can just, you can just give it one bite. Okay, I'll, one yeah, bite. Yeah. Everybody knows the rules. I got a, I got a couple. All you need is one bite. I want to know what What's you. What's that what red feel? one on your arm too? That tattoo. It's a heart. Oh, cute. But it's beat up. Band-aid. Yeah, and it's got the. What is it called? The AGQ, the EQ, whatever the hell. That oh, is. Uh, EKG. Yeah. Wow. Wait, does it look good? Because sometimes they look like conjoined twins. <laughs> and, oh, that looks that looks good. Also, this is exactly what my last picture with my dad looks like. Also, very very uh, not appropriate, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude! Get in there, dude. That's delightful. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy that a lot. Snag one of these. Hell yeah, dude! Now those got uh, oh, THC, but fuck. go ahead. I'll save it. <laughs> Make all the noise, dude. At least you're not chewing. It's okay. It's all good. That's great. No wonder you guys are the most obese country in the world. That's right. Represent. Yeah. This one's even better. This one's called Gloria. Uh, shout out to Dre. He's this, these are uh, his favorite. Now this will look like like uh, like dog shit, okay. like literally dog shit. Milk candy yeah. of Gloria's La Molienda. Oh, 
I'm so what, what can you tell me about this? Do you have memories with any of these uh, uh, treats? Yeah, dude. Like growing up, yeah. I, I had that. Like every time you go to the gas station, you buy one of these. Okay. And uh, yeah, oh, they, yeah, they make my... Uh, <laughs> Looks I told like actual <laughs> shit. It's just like actual shit. Smell it. it. Smells like actual shit. Nuh-uh, really? Oh, no, it smells good. Oh, I was like... Delightful. I was, I, was going for the, I was going for the bit. All right, here we go. One bite, everybody knows the rules. This is La Meliendas. No, it's Gloria. <laughs> That's fucking good, dude. It's <laughs> very good. Wow. Yeah. That's tasty, bro. I'm I didn't, well, you, you I appreciate are, you that. You are right, dude. That's why. Well, I mean, I got more, but let's, let's let's calm down. Okay. You are right, dude. Like, there's a reason why we are so bees. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why I have. I was. I was told high blood pressure means a lot of salt, and I was a salt fan. Yeah. My entire well, yeah. life. Yeah, that kind of killed my dad too. Eating street food every day, all day. Well, that's all the time we have. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. <laughs> Well, and also, uh, Oxys. Can I get another one of these? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Or how much time? No, there, we got I, time? I have as much time as you have. All right. <clears throat> but hurry up. Uh, so, let's see. You taught? Uh, let's see. Your dad's still alive? Yeah, Good he's uh, he's back home. Where? Where? In Mexico. Oh, what part? Yucatan. From the Yucatan Peninsula. Okay. I don't know I should have that a, is. I should have a... Oh, I mean... Maybe I should grab me another beer, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yucatan. Was, uh, is that is that more southern? Yeah, it's like the last tail of the Republic of Mexican Republic. Oh really shit! Triangle okay. Triangle with the Gulf of Mexico is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I'm from. That's where the. Uh, that's where the Maya ruins are. That's where that yeah, came from. Yeah, that's sick, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. So I had like. Uh, I think the furthest I've gone is like Ensenada. And that's what I was going to say when we were talking about the eclipse, because I, I took my ex-wife when the whole uh, equinox happens in, in March. <clears throat> the Chevy equinox? Yeah. And uh, good mileage, too. Yeah. Um, and it happens. So the sun moves in a way that it lands in the middle of this temple. Like, it, it, there's like a... Oh, cool. There's like a concrete road, like made out of stone and concrete. Yeah. And there's this temple at the end of it. And one day a year, the sun comes out in a way that it lands right in the window of it. Damn. And, like, everybody dresses white. Yeah. But it's kind of like the same thing as it's the... Like a uh, P. Diddy party. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and everybody dresses like... like I mean, s some people, right? Um, whites. Sure. Um, but they get, like, the idea of, like, oh, I'm going to get, like... Yeah, new life. Yeah, do like born powers again. And yeah. So, but it's it's crazy. That sounds fucking gay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty gay. But but you know what's funny though? Like you see the Mexican people, they're just like, mm. right. <laughs> the people who built this shit, who understand what it really means, are sitting there like, look at these fucking homos. Look at these idiots. Yeah. But I t but you know why though? Is and and also and I I was I was uh, I I always talk about this growing up there. Because you get to go to these Mayan ruins and these Mayan sites as a field trip from school. Right. And nowadays, like, now in my adult life, I talk about it. And I'm like, how cool is that? Yeah. But when you're a fucking 15-year-old and you're grabbing your nanny's ass, you're like, I don't want to fuck. <laughs> you have, so you got so much other shit yeah, to think dude, about. I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking of my kids. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, my, yeah. My fucking, yeah, my nanny's probably giving birth any minute now. Fuck, I gotta be there to cut the cord. Meanwhile, meanwhile, they got me taking fucking notes for a pop quiz. And my, yeah, no shit. And by cutting the cord, I'm like, shh, shh, yeah, shh, yeah. I'm doing the thing. <laughs> like tacos al pastor. Yeah. <laughs> no, You're uh, dripping the blood on you. <laughs> I present him like fucking like yeah, the Lion yeah, King. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and sacrifice him. But uh, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> what they did? Did they not? I think they did. Yeah. There's there's this space. Uh, there's this hole in the, in in the ground, full of water. It's called cenote. Okay. That's what that's that's the hole in the ground that is fed by ocean water, but it's been surrounded by rock for thousands of years that it becomes fresh water. Wow. That apparently the the, uh, 
the le- rumor has it it's full of uh so when they started digging in there they started finding like skeletons and like, oh, and, like jewelry stuff because that's all the people they sacrifice yeah yeah dude uh, yeah it's so if cool. i if you ever see me trying to do some dark arts you just also, yeah it's it's in my blood I don't know. I'll just yeah, let him, it's let him it's figure like, it out. That's my boy. He does yeah. his thing. He's just, it's, yeah. it's the Equinox. He's getting powers right Plug's now. Plug's a little weird, but he's chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and he's doing <laughs> fucking Aztec or Mayan <laughs> sacrifices <laughs> on a but, pyramid. Um, no, but, but yeah, so there was there was a lot of people that are like, they're getting like the rays. And the, the, yeah. The, the rays. And like, oh, like, yeah. But, but some of them are like, like doing the yoga pose, but some of them are like, oh, like yeah. fucking dancing and shit. You I got mean, dudes pretty fucking... fucking Holding their ankles over their heads. Yeah, dude. Sunning. You mm-hmm. know about that? Yeah. Do you do it? Nah. <clears throat> Pretty wide in there, huh? There's a lot of... Oh, dude, I, can't, I actually don't even know what it looks like. Show me. <laughs> yeah? I hear behind the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> Just you know, spread them for you. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of kids in my neighborhood, so I can't... Uh, oh. Can't go outside and fucking sun well, my you nuts. Can, my perineum. No, I can. can't. Well, I can't. Maybe. I don't know. We're renting. That's the problem. Mm. If we own the house, maybe. Then it's like, what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Um, but what I've noticed in my time in Mexico is, uh, this is a couple of things I've noticed about other races, is, yeah, Mexicans and, well, um, and black people don't really fuck with that gay shit. Like, there obviously are gay people in all the races, but... What I've noticed is, eh, they don't really fuck with that gay shit still. Like, and it's kind of, and it's chill. Nobody, more black people don't like gay shit. Yeah, let's blame it on them. Mexicans kind of don't talk about it. At least that's what I've noticed. No, like, well, like I told you, I, I, we, we, so there was this guy in our neighborhood who, I was, he was living with his brother. Mm-hmm. And I've I've told this story before a long time ago, but he was living with his brother at, at the house, two houses down my down from my house. And th- the brother was like a mathematical genius, and obviously I was lacking on my fucking sure. mathematics. So yeah, you he, had, you were changing diapers and exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah. I had responsibilities. Yeah, I was like fuck school. Yeah, and uh, and so talking to him, my mom said, "Well, talk to your friend, see if he will teach you, and we'll pay him." And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. I right. I, I teach tutor, I teach yeah. people." <clears throat> So okay, so then I started going and, and train. I was going to say training and like getting classes with him. And like uh, one day, his uh, I went to see him and he wasn't in the house, but his brother was. And he was like, "Well, hey, how's it going?" I'm like, "Oh, good." And so I was just looking for so and so, and he goes, "Oh, he'll be back. Just sit down." And I remember now that I think about it, I remember their house, and it was like almost no furniture. Mm. Like it was just like one couch. Interesting. And then. I think they both have their own beds in their rooms. And that was about it. Like a postmodern thing or what? Probably like a, this is all we can afford kind of thing. Okay, makes sense. So so then I got to, um, then I started to talk to the, the brother. His name was David. And I, I uh, and, and he's, we've seen him for years, right? So we kind of know him. So it was like, hey, so what's going on? So he started talking to me. And then he goes, you like porn? I uh, like where this is going. You do you? Sure. <clears throat> what a great conversation yeah. starter. And I'm like, yeah. He goes, I got a bunch of porn. You want it? You want to? You want to borrow it? And I said, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so he gave me like a bunch of magazines. Sick. And I was like, okay, this I've got enough for. Uh, yeah. If I don't come study, then so, I'm study this. Sure. This will last the winter. Exactly. Yeah. So then I go home. A few weeks after that, I was I was going to school in the afternoon. So he knew that in the morning I was home alone. Jerking it. Yeah, and then he hey, till this day, uh, and then I <laughs> till this day, and then oh, there was a knock on the door. I opened the door and it was it was, it was David, and and I and I go, hey, what's going on? And and he goes, hey, uh, you know those magazines that I let you borrow? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm like, he's like, oh, they're asking, they're asking for, they're asking, so my friend is asking for, so I gotta give him back. I was like, all right, cool. So then I turned around and I left. And he also asked me for a screwdriver. He's like, I got to fix my fan. Do you have a screwdriver? I'm like, yeah, I do I got a screwdriver? So then I went and I grabbed the magazines and the screwdriver. And then I went like this to him. And he goes, oh, did you like him? And I'm like, yeah. And then he went and grabbed my junk. And he was like, 
did this really like it? And I was like, whoa, yeah, bro. Dude. And that's when you looked at the magazines and realized you'd been jerking off to gay porn yeah, for three dude. weeks. Yeah. And long story short, I uh, fucked him. Sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I mean, he made you an offer you can't refuse. What are you supposed to yeah, do? Your hands are tied. <laughs> God, he, was, a, he was wearing flip flops. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what am I going to do? A nice gentleman gives me an offer. What am I going to say? No, he went through a lot of trouble to come all the way over yeah, here. Yeah, he had to borrow magazines to let me borrow magazines. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of sweet. It's like, you did all that for me? Yeah, I did. I was like, this is the least thing I can do. Oh, all no, right. So then he's like, so, so then, he start, he start, then he grabbed me and then he goes, yeah. oh, I bet it's huge. And I was, and I, I was like petrified. Yeah. And it wasn't until Damn. he finish the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I was like hey <laughs> yeah hey I'm not done yet <laughs> that's selfish no, no it wasn't until it, it wasn't until like like he started squeezing he took me like a couple seconds and I was like yo I'm like I'll yeah, be, cause you're like stunned yeah dude and I was yeah. like I'll be honest with you I was like I don't care if you are like that it's just yeah, it, yeah. It, I was like you're just not gonna get there with me right like that. I, long story short we were hanging out with a bunch of friends and everything, and I had my secret with him, right, whatever. And then I was like, one time, I was like, fuck, I'm going to tell my friends. Mm -hmm. And when I decided to open my mouth, apparently he did it to a couple guys, too. They are like, oh, you did it to you, too? I was like, wait, what? And so I'm like, what the fuck is this guy, huh? And he can Whoa, treat me like this? Dude, <laughs> and he's doing it to everybody? Right, right. Oh, so what am I to you? I'm just a piece of My friends of are like, these magazines? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what am I? Oh, I'm just one of your whores, huh? Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, and that but, was like... And that was the, um... You thought you were going to become a voice for feet. You're, but you are a voice for molestation. That's right. Because you speaking up that's gave right. others the courage. That's right. Uh, this is, and this Good is my platform. You. You, you've been touched by an angel. <laughs> hey, hey. That's cute. <laughs> Make that your Come LLC. To the show. <laughs> touched by an angel LLC. Um, that way if you commit the crimes. So that was the... That was... I guess we can say... A couple times, because that was one, and then the other one was a little bit, uh, um, a little more. I want to want to say graphic, but it, it, it was. I mean, I'll tell you. It just doesn't matter here. But it's funny how that never played a part in my life. Mm -hmm. Like if for the for the longest time, like I I even forgot about it. And when I was doing the podcast with Justin, because Justin was in the same situation with somebody else, but mm -hmm. but their game was baseball cards. Mm. So, damn. Obviously, that's his story, right? But but we also we also said it in like a joking manner because it never, like it, it didn't scar us or, or anything. Like we didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. we didn't feel like you know You're just kind of like all right. <clears throat> yeah we were just like oh, well whatever it happened yeah. and we were like young but we were smart enough to realize oh this is this shouldn't be like this and then yeah, we're like yo yeah, yeah. and then he's like uh. right so right like, hey. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, a little bit. Do a little bit. No, but there was this. I mean, the the second one, it was it was more of a of a person that saw me. I was I was I would used I get off of school and then I walk about a quarter of a mile to get to get on the bus, and he caught me and he was asking for someone else and I'm like, oh, I don't know who that is, and he was like, oh, I'm looking for him because uh, it, it it was it was a job. Uh, I'm I want to give him a job, and I was like, oh, okay. And he was like, you wouldn't mind, you wouldn't want a job, will you? And I was like, I don't know. Like, Again, 16, 17-year-old kid. And I'm like, I don't have a job. All I do mm -hmm. is go to school yeah. and I have a kid. my kids, yeah. <clears throat> and so I was like, I'm like, ah, sure. So the way he played it was like he was finding people to go and to go to these rich parties with all these rich women and fuck them. That sounds like a... That sounds legit. Sounds like Sign me up. Yeah. So far, I was yeah. I'm like, this is a no brainer. Where have like you Fire been? Fire Island. Dude. Where have you been yeah. my entire life? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you get me before I had kids? Yeah, yeah. Um, Fuck. <laughs> the ball and chain at home. <clears throat> but then he, uh, um, but then he, we went across the the road to the park, and and you know, without getting detail, he took me to the to the dark. <laughs> part of the part. Oh fuck. And then he said, I wanna see your dick and I wanted I wanna see your heart. Like I mean, this whole thing. And then he was like, Can I help you? And I mean just it, it wow. got it got that specific and then I just yeah. went, Oh no 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 no. Not and then he was like right. and then he was like, Oh no Trump, never mind. I will I'm so sorry. I'll I owe you money and then he was like, Okay and he was like 
I have the money here in my car. Come see it. And, like, and I'm like, okay. And then I started walking to his car. Self, fool, me, started, fool me once, fool me twice, and I bro. I started walking to his car. <laughs> this dumbass me. Yeah. I started walking to his car. And then he goes, um, and then he, I see that he opens, like he goes in the driver's side and then he opens the passenger side because there's no electrical shit. Right, this right, is right, back right, in the right, 90s, right? right? Yeah, so yeah. he just reached out. And I was like, I was like, where are we going? I was like, We're going to go to the bank. And then I was like, no, nah, dude. No. Nah, I'm like, never okay. mind. That's fine. Oh, okay. And so later on, because that was the same, di- the same day that Justin said his story. And so, leaving the times that we're leaving, we, I was like, yo, did we get molested? Yeah. And he was like, uh, I, think, I so. think we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we did. And so, one of my friend's wife heard that episode, and she brought it up to me. And I was like, yo, well, now that you mention it, I'm like, did I get molested? And she was like, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. And you almost got kidnapped, too. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. was like, oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. Because <laughs> I was going to jump in this guy. Well, you owe me money. <laughs> right, right. Wow, dude. Yeah. Yeah, Scott free, though. Look at yeah. you. Jeez. And then, you know, my kids are safe. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they yeah, are. Yeah, that's why say. you didn't get in the car. You're like, I can't. I gotta, I gotta get back to the kids. It's bedtime. Have you ever had anything like that? What molested? Yeah. Uh, Ooh. I, think so. I think so. I'm pretty sure. Is it, is it happened to everybody? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I think my cousins got me. Oh damn. Yeah, they're a little older. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> and that's all the time we have. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's like it's you know. It's, I don't know. It's kind of weird because it's like they're my you know my family yeah, yeah. and they're like, but yeah, they they kind of just told me shit was okay that wasn't okay. I didn't blow anybody or get yeah. fucked or anything like that. Um, but you know, yeah, I was like naked uh, when I should not have been. Okay. Which looking back, I'm like, yeah, I think they were kind of. Up to no good. Yeah. It was mostly just one, the older one. Because I think there, cause there was me and another cousin, and we were around the same age. I think he's even, like, a little You're younger. You're like, why am I the only one riding a bike naked? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretend like With I'm no skiing. With no seat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think my, the you know, the other cousin, because he's, I think he is a little younger than me. He didn't, he couldn't have known any better yeah. either. So I think this older one kind of, yeah, kind of coerced mm. both of us into doing shit that we didn't know any better. We yeah. didn't know. But then I do, <laughs> I didn't, I do remember shortly after that, uh, getting a stern talking to from my aunt and uncle being like, the fuck was that? What were you doing? I didn't know. I was like, oh, fuck. They're like, what the fuck? What do you think your dad would think if he heard, if, if he knew you were doing that? I was like, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> but apparently it was no good. Yeah. And then looking back, it's like, oh yeah, that was, I remember. Chill. I remember growing up with, uh, uh, I used to go to a, f- a cousin's house, but he was he was my age, but he was my mom's blood cousin. He was like my second cousin, okay. but he was so my age that we g- basically grew up together. Mm-hmm. So when he would get together with his cousins, um, there was a cousin that I used to think she was so fucking hot. Now I look at her, I'm like. Ugh. Yeah, sure. But I remember thinking just she's so fucking hot, and then I'm like, oh man, cousins like, will get you. And bro. then and then I was like, why didn't she fucking take advantage? Of yeah, I know. Why <laughs> we're not even be... cousins. We're not right. even related. That but she's related to my mom. Yeah. Growing up in Mexico, my mom had some hot friends. Sure. And they would and they would come to the house to party with my mom, and my mm. mom knows too. It's like, oh, that's. Remember, that's my friend so-and-so. You used to like her. I'm like, oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. The one with the mole on the lower left cheek? Yeah, yeah, I remember nice that. Nice feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> that's right. She's got the bent pinky toe on her left foot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're like, mm, definitely a dancer. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. She's putting, yeah. She's put on some tight slippers, this one. I had the benefit, yeah, too, because, like, my mom had me young, so... Yeah. Not, well, not, I mean, she was 19. So my mom, she had, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, the age wasn't... I mean... Yeah. It's not as bad as it could be. No. Like, yeah, but bad. I never had... I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't think out of my direct family, I don't think there's family that I go, oh, she's hot. Or, like, she is good-looking. Thank God. Right. Yeah, It's, it's, always, thing, it's yeah. always that second... A second tier. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah. It's the, maybe that's actually, maybe it's, yeah. that's what God said. Yeah. He's like, you're not even going to yeah, yeah, yeah. 
think about being attracted right. to the right. to the close ones. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> you take one step of separation, one little step of separation. This is about as far as I'll go. Go for it. But. <laughs> <laughs> How about teachers? You hot, hot teachers? I had, I was just thinking about this bitch. Um, I had a middle school teacher. She was a social studies teacher. I cannot remember her name, but she, <clears throat> she had, she, she was like fit and she had, she was blonde and mm-hmm. she had, but it was kind of short. Mm-hmm. She looked like a real bitch and she was mean and so goddamn hot. <laughs> I mean, I think it was in that class a kid got caught jerking off. And whenever oh, we heard damn. about it, all the guys were like, yeah, I get it. Damn. Yeah, of course. Like, it's her. I had one that same middle school. I can't remember what she would teach. Well, in, in Mexico, you have one teacher for all the classes. That's how it is, right? Uh, yeah, Canada, especially you do especially in middle middle well, school, elementary school. We yeah, yeah, middle <clears> school <throat> you would switch it up though. So, um, so she was my teacher, and out of all the gargoyles that we had for for other teachers, as we moved grades, they were all older. Right, right. She was like the younger one. Yeah, and they and for some reason, I know the fucking the the, the principal knew what he was doing. This motherfucker, this old this dirt guy. Right. All their fucking so they had uniforms too, and all the skirts were like tight, tight, dude. God bless him. You walk by his office and you give him one of these. I was like, "Thank you, sir." Yep. I was like, "What, Cervera?" I'm like, yeah. "You know what I'm you know, talking you about." Know, you know like, damn well. I have no idea who you are. I'm like, "All right, keep playing, old man." Yeah, thanks for yeah. your service, sir. Yeah, do, helping us a lot. Yeah, but she was a she was a she was hot. I feel like you know. Another thing about it, if you're a a hot woman who's teaching, you gotta really love teaching. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, because if you're if yeah, you're you, that hot, as hot as I remember, yeah, this one being, and like, I just feel like to put your you gotta love you gotta just love what you do because why would you put yourself yeah. in that situation? Well, that's like that that friend that I was telling you that went to to wise guys. She's a teacher. Mm-hmm. She's a very attractive. I mean, obviously now we we. We've had such a good relationship. This one having three ways. Yeah, with her husband. Yeah, so, yeah. Like she's very attractive, and yeah. she teaches. And I every time I have her here, I'm like, I'm every time I have her here, I'm like, hey, I'm like, don't you get this? Don't you get the looks? Don't you get the? Yeah. Because you're a very attractive person. Yeah. And 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 she just like she plays it off. She's like, oh, you know, every now and then I get something, but it's like, yeah, they're hollering. Like, it's so, it's gotta be so hard to just. It has to be. Yeah. I, I feel sorry for your students. <laughs> right. I know. You must have horrible test grades. Te- your test scores are, yeah. But I, also, I've, I, th- I feel like I've always been, like, every single relationship that I've been in, when they're older than me, I've lasted longer. Like, time Sexually? Time-wise. Like, together. Stamina? Together. Oh, the relationship the relationship lasts longer. Lasted longer. The older they are, the longer yeah. you last. Yeah. So, if I, if I dated, like, when I was in Mexico, I was... 18 i was dating 15 year old i'm just kidding yeah just kidding yeah, just yeah, kidding yeah. no 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 but like you were though if we were the, if, we, if we were the same age it was just a a few months we were like we're done mm. and we were like fuck you and we we're like fuck mm. you but like when he came to be older it was just for for some reason the older one to leave by the house i i, I was two years with her mm. i dated a, a an older person here and 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 she was a lot longer than the other ones. My how much older my, are my ex wife? So my ex wife was five years older than me. Okay. That was seventeen years together. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. I haven't done much. Like I mean, I yeah. The oldest I've dated is only like a year. Really? They're so older than me. Yeah. No. For some reason, olders olders are my shit. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's a good time for another. <laughs> oh, what, else, uh, what do we got? This one is uh, be very careful when you open it because it crumbles pretty fast. But if okay. you grab that and just start peeling it out, what do we? What this we is uh, De La Rosa Mazapan. Mazapan, that's what it is. You have candies like that in in, in Canada? Um, I don't know. Uh, we got candies. Uh. It's like, not like this, though. It's When's like, the last time you went home? 
college. So it's, I was like, I think it was like 19. So it's been a long time. Been like you don't, years. you don't want to go. I do. It's expensive. Is it? Yeah, I don't take make a, a lot of money doing. Take comedy. a small bike. It's gonna. I like that. It tastes like uh, clod hoppers. I don't know what that is. Canadian candy. Oh. So it's very... Uh, kind of like Golden Grahams. It's good. Yeah, it's got peanut buttery. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I'm tasting, peanut butter. So nothing like Golden Grahams. Like peanut nope, butter. Yeah. not one beat. <clears throat> I've been doing this thing uh, in the morning when I, I, I make a... I'm one of those assholes now that make a shake mm -hmm. to go to work now. I, I start every day with one. Do you? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I've been doing like a... Like the fuck, you know these fucking names, animal or whatever the fuck. This fucking uh. big things of protein shakes or whatever, and then you put it in there. But I've been I've been putting pure uh, peanut butter, the oily one, the one with like almost no sugar, almost no nothing. You just fucking you gotta stir it up, that bitch yeah. in there and just put it in there. Like yeah. you do this, and it's like kind of like yeah. your asshole after uh -huh. Beto's. It's like sure. Oh, if that, if I'm lucky, it's <laughs> that. Uh. It's just so backed up, brutal. But. Uh, yeah, that's what I... And then my, my thing, so if I, can, I, I press the button, it goes... Mm -hmm. I'm that, you have the blender bottle I'm that, that has basic, it. basic, My dude. guy, no, my, my buddy has that, Whoa. too. Yeah. That's cool. That's chill. I've never been a, 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 a shake guy. I love it. I but, do. It's but very it makes filling. sense because I don't... Easy. It makes sense because doing construction, when I mean, I don't... I don't usually have breakfast. Right. So it's usually, it was either... What do you throw in there? What do you throw in this? What do you throw in your smoothie? So it's just the powder and the and the peanut butter. What? Yeah. What? How, that's not a smoothie. No, I say like a protein shake. Oh, so you just put that with yeah, milk yeah. and blend it? Mm-hmm. Nah, no, I'm not. What, you're you going to put berries in there and all the shit? Yeah, like, Get the bitch. fuck out of here. What that's are you? What, a, I do. what are you, a fucking Jamba Juice? Yeah, fuck Jamba you. Juice I'm at Jamba fire, Juice. Dude. Yeah, not, not as much sugar, but... Frozen, yeah. fr bananas, frozen fruit, fucking spinach and kale. Uh, but how long are you, but you're doing that in the morning? Yeah. I do it in the, I, well, here, I do it, and I just make a big batch, and I just fill three bottles. Dude, three days. Boom. Oh, okay. And I just do it every three days. Yeah, but I guess you don't, like, you wake up, what? Four. Ten o'clock in the morning? <laughs> That's an early day for me, honestly. I haven't had a job in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it actually is. I mean, this weekend in Boise was the earliest I've woken up in I can't in like a year because we had to do radio and stuff. Oh, I see. Uh huh. I thought Mr. Uh, Kid was opening something there. He is, but he needs to. Um, I actually just asked him about it. He needs to. He said he, he needs to have a. He needs someone to run it. Because he's got you know, but he did just post on Instagram that. Um, like now hiring managers, yeah. he wants to train managers because he needs to send these people out. So he Branch wants to do, out. yeah, he wants to do Boise and he wants to do Southern Utah. Nice. Yeah, and maybe even California. Maybe, maybe. Isn't that a like a overcrowded market? Obviously, I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, but. I mean, depending on where in California, mm. and then the name is pretty good. Yeah. Like, it's got a good reputation, I, th I feel like, anywhere. That's what I was talking to. I was talking to Ryan about this, because if, if every single person that I follow that happens to be either a comedian or a podcaster, they don't have one bad thing to say about, uh, about Keith. No, Keith's also, like, the only <clears throat> owner that gets named. Yeah. On podcasts, yeah, like, other owners don't get a shout out nearly as much as he does. Mm -hmm. Like other cl clubs, obviously they do, but like Wise guy, Wise guys always gets a shout out, and then Keith, yeah, specifically gets I've, a shout I've, out. I've heard yeah. List and Norman and yeah. and Shaw and Callen, Callen, yeah, Santino. I mean, yeah, you name it. Some of the the big Top hitters, notch, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was actually I was just telling him that the other day too. The same thing. Like, you're the only one that they actually, like, the, the owner that they name specifically yeah. is, like, super cool. Because he is. I love him. I haven't seen him in a while. I got to get back. 
Gotta get back. I mean, I'm doing shows days. this weekend, so if you want to come. Hmm? I'm hosting, but. <clears throat> oh, you say you're up north? Or you're here? I'm here, downtown. Oh. It's Kelsey Cook. Saturday. I don't think I got anything Saturday. Yeah. Saturday? Or I'm, yeah, I'm there. I'm, ho- I'm hosting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Kelsey Cook headlining. I don't know who that is. You will. That means I don't know. I don't know shit, huh? Nah, if you don't know Kelsey Cook, you ain't, <laughs> you ain't it, bro. She's very funny. Um, I'm more of a Jerry Seinfeld kind of guy. You know oh, what I mean? are you? No. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I'm more of a Michael Richards guy. I love his stand-up comedy. Have you seen uh, any special lately that's hilarious? I mean, hold on before I before you answer that. For me, even it's it's kind of hard to find a special that I'm laughing. Yeah, like if I enjoy it, for me, I go, "Oh, that was good." Yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't necessarily have no, me it's rolling. Hard. Yeah, especially watching, like, at home or whatever. It's not good for comedy. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, obviously, Shane Gillis, Sam Talent, Dan Soder, Nick Mullen. I you got to watch yeah. Nick Mullins, dude. Very funny. My mom just told me yesterday she's uh, she's going to uh, Koi. Oh, really? Where? Uh, I think, oh, is he the Delta Center? He, I, I'd imagine so. I didn't even hear about. He, oh, he's it, he's coming here. Yeah, she's she her. When is that? Her boss is giving her tickets. When is that? Uh, I want to say it's this week. This week? Yeah. Oh, these shows are gonna be. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Really, I didn't hear anything yeah. about that. Have yeah. I not heard anything about that? Maybe I'm lying. I can ask. Yeah, her. I think you might be. Wrong. Gonna, but she's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to Joe Coy, and I was like. Okay. That's awesome. But then she was like, but my boss gave us tickets. I was like, oh, so you're going for free. That's good yeah. shit. I mean, yeah. Did you see his... Eh, I don't want to... He's what? The guy. His, 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 stu- his specials are really good, but... Um, or his old His stuff. last special, that one was one that had me fucking laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say he bombed. Oh, the Oscars? The Oscars, <clears throat> that's what it was, yeah. Yeah, That's I, a tough gig, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, talk, I, think, I think I did a... a an episode, a solo episode, but right after that happened, and it was it was kind of hard because it was kind of hard to watch because I think he took the gig like at the last minute, so he had no time to right to to prepare, and as as he was going, people would uh, people wasn't just responding as as good, and mm. and at one point I think he felt the pressure, and then he kind of said, hey. I only had a couple of days to prepare. And right. Then, and, then, and then you're like, oh. that's a bad, yeah. <laughs> you that's, want another one? Yeah, I'll do one more. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, that's a tough look. I mean, people forget, but uh, Sebastian hosted uh, like the MTV Music Awards oh, yeah, yeah. back in 2012. He bombed his ass off on that. But those are tough gigs, man. Those are tough gigs. I opened for a band like a couple weeks ago, or uh, yeah, um, no, just over a week ago. It was Keith's kids' band. Oh, okay. They performed in Ogden at the Wise Guys. Mm-hmm. So, and they asked to for to have me do some time up top. So I did ten minutes. Well, they. They wanted me to do 15. I did like nine and a half and got the fuck out of there <laughs> um, because it was going well. And what I did not want to happen was me losing them or doing the joke that was supposed to be my closer and it doesn't land. And now I have to try to save my um, set. <clears throat> I'm not doing that. Here's what I'm not going to do. <laughs> that shit. So I just felt, I was like, I'm probably at 10. And then I... You know, just went out on a high note and uh, brought up the first band and then did a little couple minutes between the bands and then brought up, uh, yeah, so it's his, it's two of his sons are in the band and then with some of the other, the other guys are also, some of the other guys work at that club too. Uh, and it was cool. It was the first time they've ever done like music at, wise at that club. Yeah. And it was great. They fit like. They fit like 170 people in there, which is more than the capacity. But they took out all the chairs and tables and everything, so it was standing, which also made it 
which also made it tough because, yeah. you know, they're stand. Everyone's standing. They're all like seventeen. Yeah. And or, and then their parents in the back. <laughs> so it's like, I don't write jokes for seventeen yeah. and under. You know, or even like fucking twenty one and under, whatever. But, um, yeah. So. Uh, they're all standing, and they're also like a fucking foot away from me. Mm. They're like, just, and so you can, I can only see the this row of people <laughs> who are staring <laughs> at me a foot away. They're like, my, no, not they're <laughs> looking at me straight on because I'm not tall, and oh. they are. And that stage is, you know, maybe, may maybe a foot off the ground, not even, oh, wow. probably not, honestly. So, yeah, it was tough. And then, like, you know, the jokes were landing. But, like, most of the people couldn't see me because mm. everyone's standing. So, like, for the rest of the night after my set, it was people like, oh, you're the comedian, you know, because uh. they could hear me, but no one could see me. But it was great. I did well, you know, got the got laughs, and then, um, yeah, the show was good. But I don't think I've ever been more nervous for a show. Mm. I can't remember the last time I was that nervous. Not because, like, I was nervous of the crowd. I mean, I also, I didn't know... I didn't really know. I hoped that my jokes would work for this this young of a crowd cuz college kids I can vibe with. But we're talking yeah, under 18. I was like, "Fuck, I don't even know. What am I going to I said to my friends before. I was like, "What am I going to do? It's, what am I going to say? Like, what's up with Snapchat?" And they're like, "Kids aren't even <laughs> using Snapchat anymore." I'm like, "Oh, good. So the exaggeration is still, you know, uh that makes me look too old." So um, but yeah. Uh, oh, and then not to mention, like, yeah, Keith was telling me he's like, he's like, they, you were the only comedian that they asked to have. You're the only one that they wanted to do this. And he was telling me he's like, you know, they, told, he, they, they, when they asked me, they're like, he would be perfect. Oh, he'd be perfect. And he, I keep hearing this word perfect, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I have to be perfect. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I got Keith. I got his wife. I got his kids that are in the band, the other kids that are working and taking pictures and stuff, selling, <coughs> selling merch. And then I got his other kid, his other daughter that her and her husband flew in from oh, fucking damn. whatever, California or something because to see that show. And then it was also Keith's headlining weekend there. Mm. So I got the whole fa I got generations of the stubs all expecting me to be perfect. I've just never been more. I was so nervous. I just went to, like I said, last weekend, I went to see um, the my, my friend's band. I, I had them here a couple weeks ago. They're my favorite local band. They actually gave me the song, one of the uh, songs for the brand new album. It's the song of the of the show. It's actually called How Did It Get So Good. Uh -huh. and, uh, and I went and saw them. And it wasn't until two days. I bought tickets for a while. And it wasn't until two days prior from the uh, of the gig, I said, "Hey, I've never been to this place you guys are playing at. Is it? Are they gonna be? Are they gonna sell? Oh, because on the, on the ticket I noticed that he said all ages, and that just fucking threw me off. Yeah. Home. And so I was like, "Hey, now I get it because I used to play, I I I used to play in a band, so mm -hmm. it sucks to do it all ages, but." All ages is what's gonna fill the fucking place, right? You know? Right, especially yeah, <clears throat> young young people love yeah, local shit. Exactly. Yeah. So so when I I asked him, I said, hey, I'm like, I noticed that this is an all ages show. Are they are they selling alcohol? And the guy was like, I don't think so. And I was like, fuck. Yeah. And I'm bringing people from Ogden. Yeah. To go to the show, they can sell beers, right? They just can't do hard stuff. So I so or we we met we met at the bar, um, this bar, bar named Sue. Oh, and we had some. Uh, we done a show there. We had some. You done a show there? Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> they have two locations, so I don't know which one. Uh, yeah, specifically State you're Street about, and but one of them I did. And sorry yeah. to cut you off. No, Go you're ahead. good. Um, so, so then we met at the bar and we we had some food and some drinks, and uh, and then we went to to the place. And as soon as we walked in, the guy was like, "Are you guys buying beer?" And I was like. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know it was a thing, but yeah. And so they gave us our bracelets. Here's the thing. We walk in there, and it's like a tiny uh, movie theater. Mm. Just small. And there's adult people that are sitting in the 
20 chairs we have there, or they have there, mm-hmm. and then the rest of them are standing, and there's kids walking around. Yeah. So then I'm like, oh, we got to stand this <sighs> whole time. And they're my, they're my guys. I love their band. I, I love it. So I, I, I was like, I don't care. I want to enjoy it. But, but the guys that I was with, they're like, we got to get out of here. Yeah. It's just painful. Like, not painful, that, oh, not pa- painful because we're standing. Oh, right, right. We're so they're pain, like, yeah. so they're like, we, it was like, it's, it's starting to hurt. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right. So we left. But, yeah, there you go. But I enjoy it. it yeah. A good show. I mean, they, they, they put, uh, there was, put a lot of work mm-hmm. to make this happen. It was pretty badass. But there yeah. was no way they were going to stay until the end. I've gone to some local stuff um, in Ogden, too. It was cool. I went with my girlfriend to this one. Um, and then I've, yeah, I've gotten to know some of the local guys, mm-hmm. the local musicians too. Cause there were a bunch of them were at this wise guys one too. Oh, nice. So yeah, it's cool. It's it's There's a lot of grunge. I like, do you really? Yeah. There's a lot of, well, I'm saying there's a lot of, a lot of these young folks are doing grungy shit mm-hmm. and I like it. Nice. Yeah. You don't. Nah. It's not my thing. Yeah. You say grunge. All I hear is Nirvana. Right. And, and I love and, that. Yeah. I can, I can, here's the difference. To me, live music is a lot better. Right. Right. So, so that I, the fact that I know that I'm going to go see a drummer, like an actual person singing and shit, then I'm like, oh, I'll enjoy it a lot more. Yeah. But is it my genre to go to? No, not really. But yeah. I'll still go. It's funny to me when people say like, um, like, my dad would say this about, he would say, like, oh, this Mexican music sounds the same. Or people yeah. say that about grunge. You say, like, mm-hmm. oh, it all sounds the same. Or, you know, all this fucking punk stuff sounds the same. And it's like, yeah, but well, that's what genres are. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, like, how is that? It's so stupid. Yeah. It's not a complaint. Yeah. Yeah, you're listening to Mexican music. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it sounds like. And the next song, Mexican music, gonna sound like Basically that too. Basically the same. Like, it's so stupid to me when that people use that as a complaint. Like, oh, I don't like it because it all sounds the same. It's supposed to. Yeah. Action movies all have action. <laughs> Why? Just you another know? action movie? Fuck Oh, great. This. Whoa, they're going to be fighting? Oh, jeez. Let me guess. The good guy's going to win? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> Why? it's not a bad thing. So speaking of movies, I went to, I've been going to the movies just to get the popcorn. And then I take it home. What? Why? Yeah. Buy popcorn. Huh? What do you mean? You said buy popcorn? Just go buy popcorn. It's not the same. <sighs> All right. It's been fun, man. You can't How compare. different is it? It's not. It can't be that different, I though. don't know what it is, It's but it's. It's, it's because you paid twelve dollars. Maybe for it. it's the salt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that I shouldn't have. Right. No, but here's the thing, though. So I, I so I've been go. I've, I've been in the last month. I've been like three times. Right. Mm-hmm. So I get the bucket and I go home. But here's the thing. So, so you don't pay for a ticket, though. No. Okay. Just the popcorn. <laughs> and a diet coke because we're trying to watch our feet. You know what I mean? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> well, hold on. So I. Go- Oh, I just go home and watch the Kardashians. It's not a food truck. Like, it's... <laughs> well, hold on. So then I go home. You walk out the... of a movie theater with a full bag Everybody's of Everybody's going in and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> leaving? What are you doing? With my drink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. That's insane. So, so then... So then I... <laughs> So the, uh, dude, I have kids since I was 15, dude, all right? I, I mean, am I insane. Guess, yeah, you got to get away from the family every now so, and then. So... <laughs> So no, I left them all in Mexico. Oh, so, yeah. so then I get my I get my thing and I go and as I'm eating and tearing this fucking popcorn down, I notice that they have that little lip for the the little breakaway thing for the for the free refill. Okay. The popcorn does right. Oh okay. But I'm already home at this point. Right. You can't get so the free refill. No, that's what I thought. You can take it back. Yeah, dude. I because just they don't know any better. But no, no, it's not on. It's not that. I just asked them yesterday because I went and got me a bucket yesterday. And I said, hey, listen, I guess it's because of my laziness. I have to throw the buckets away. <laughs> so I said, hey, this thing over here for the, I said, I've been buying these buckets and I'm going. Go, hey, sorry, excuse me. Sorry to bother you. I'm out of my fucking mind. Yeah, yeah sorry to bother you. Yeah. I'm a sociopath. <laughs> yeah. So I'm fucking crazy. And I was wondering. 
yeah. me and my loneliness were wondering. Sure. Um, and so I said, what about this thing that, that is f- for a free refill? Well, I've been taking this home. Can I bring him back? And the lady was like, yeah. Sure. And I was like, now, got I got, racket. now I got three refills for free. Wow. So who's killing that life? See how you were judging me? I mean, how much does how much is a bag of Orville Redenbachers these days? Probably what? Probably average that to about you, seventy cents. And, and I know it's not cheap. That bucket of thing in a diet coke is like almost twenty bucks. That's great. <laughs> but the, I don't it's twenty dollars for but two bags it, of popcorn and a diet coke. Yeah. 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 I mean. But there's no movie out there I want to go watch. There hasn't been anything good. Uh, there's some horror movies coming out. I don't Do you like watch horror. horror. Mm-hmm. You don't like it? No. Mm-hmm. I don't even go to haunted houses. Haunted houses are different than horror movies. Yeah, dude. but haunted houses no, are but fucking it's the, intense. But, but it's it's the scare. Like I know it's fake. I know the movies are fake. Yeah, but but it's the mm, motherfucker. You don't and like I creepy have shit. Dude. What if I end up with a fucking heart attack? What are you gonna do? What about like creepy shit? You don't um, like that? I guess if you don't like, like Saw. I watch yeah. the sauce. So you'll watch like eerie, like oh shit, like yeah, but it's it's pop ups you don't like. Yeah, yeah, see, fuck that. Yeah, it's the same thing about the. Well, the haunted houses. That's a whole. That's a different level. I'd I'd see a hundred horror movies before a haunted house, and I did just go to one. Really? Yeah. It's it's scary. They're coming at you. Yeah, but you know it's they're fake though. Out. But they're just but they're yeah they're they're is the jumping is the is yeah the, they'll still get you <laughs> yeah. Even if you know, because you do know. Yeah. But they still get you. God bless them. I just saw Late Night with the Devil. You heard of that one? Mm Mm-mm. It's pretty good. It's about a guy in the 70s doing a talk show. He's a late night talk Mm -hmm. show host. He's trying to compete with Carson. But he just can't get, just can't quite get to the level. Mm -hmm. You know, he's like just a few ratings behind. And then one night on like a Halloween, it's their very special Halloween episode. And they like, bring on someone to like and they talk to like the devil and it's just fucking it's like a crazy shit goes wild it's really good though I liked it a lot it wasn't as scary as I would like it to be though so that might be even good for you because I I wished it were more scary but it was it was jumpy no it's gotta be it was just creepy you can't have horror without jumpy no it's more of like a just eerie creepy creepy kind of thriller thing yeah I wanna have a uh Civil War I just saw it too, by the way. Sorry to cut you off. Civil so that new War. Civil War movie. Yeah. It's about like if America had a Civil War today. So mm. California and Texas team up and go to war with the rest of the country oh, damn. In, it, in this movie. And, uh, and it's set present day. And it follows these uh, uh, photographers. Mm-hmm. And they're driving from um, New York to D.C., to like talk to the president. That's what the movie's about. You can just follow them on their journey. It's really good. What movie did I watch? I, I watched Oppenheimer, but I watched it at home. Uh-huh. It's just me, three hours there. Fuck. It was good, but there was some parts when you uh, you just lose it. Yeah. Because it's three hours long. Yeah, and we all know how it ends. Yeah. 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 We already know. Have you seen it? I, no. <laughs> I just read a book. I saw Barbie instead. Did you? Yeah. See, I've heard good things about it. I, I don't think I ever watched it, but... It was fun. It was fun. You get to see Margot Robbie's feet. Yeah, you do. You see him quite a bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. You, you probably like Tarantino movies a lot, too, then, huh? Oh, he's got the fucking feet, yeah. yeah. Yo, Tarantino was, a, was in, a, in an episode of uh, Two Bears, One Cave. With just Tom Segura, was, yeah, just Tom Segura, yeah. And at the end, he was like, "I just want you to know," and like he would, he got like Tom got serious. He goes, "I just want you to know that I appreciate what you've done with the women women's feet." And he just la- he laughed it off like he didn't get into it, he nothing. Right. He just laughed it off and he was like, "Thank you so much." And he's like, oh, he's like "Oh yeah, well you know." But as far as I know, Rogan likes feet. Uh, Blaustein, Kreischer, uh, yeah, him, uh, Segura. Huh. So we're out there, dude. You're out there. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, you're yeah. out there. Yeah. Why, unfortunately? No, I mean, you know, you're creeping people out, but... They don't know. Well, now they do. Now they do. You're going to tell them, hey, next time I go see you, that's my boy. <laughs> I'll do it, yeah. Hope you brought your sneakers. When I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, if I'm doing a show and you're in the front row, I'm like, what's up? You look like you like feet, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to say it like that. And people are going to go, why is he talking like a black guy? 
Why is he doing that? Why is he doing that voice? It's really not cool. And then I'll be with him. And like, I don't even know this guy. I don't know why he's saying that. <laughs> I don't like feet. Yeah. I like butts. <laughs> I like butts. That's a... <laughs> That's a gay guy pretending to be straight. Pretending to be straight. I like women's butts. No, I, I'm not gay. I like butts. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Reno 911 lately, so I'm, that's that's where my humor is at right now. It's a lot of shit. <laughs> do you have a lot of time to watch shit, huh? Yeah, I mean, I try to do stay busy. Like, I go to the gym and I I still work. I do like clips and stuff for yeah. a lot of people, so I stay busy and like editing my own shit. Last time I saw you, uh, uh, you were headlining over here in downtown. <laughs> I was headlining downtown. Was it? No, I think no, you. No, you opened been. for. The Stefano. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Remember, I was there. I was on the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, which by the way, the friends that I was with was like, "Well, oh, that guy's hilarious." I'm like, "I fucked him." Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. No, but he he. Uh, I rem- so at the end, I'm I like okay. They're like, <laughs> okay, that, that cool. doesn't make him funny. Yeah. All right. <laughs> In fact, that makes him sad. Yeah. Um, no, but I remember that as I was leaving, you were, you were, you were doing the camera thing because you record your own sets. Yeah. But do you record their sets too? Or that's just. If they want. Yeah. So I, you have it in case they want it. I usually ask them before. Um, when I, when I see them, I go, Hey, I got my cam. I'm, you know, got my camera if you want it. Or sometimes that's how I get the gig. I'll get hired as a, to film first. Oh, okay. And then. Through, you know, leading up to the show, Keith will be like, oh, they need a host, too. So, may as well. Nice. Throw me on. Which is part of why I even got into, learned how to film stuff. And yeah. got into learning how to, yeah, film and edit and all this shit. Is because I was talking to my buddy, um, uh, Luis Gomez. Mm. No. No, that's Luis J. Gomez. Uh, <laughs> you saying we all look the same? <laughs> Talking <laughs> my buddy Luis, uh, um, and uh, he was opening for Callan. Okay. Um, back in the, not that a few years ago, mm-hmm. I was talking to him after, and uh, or just during that weekend because I was hosting, he was featuring. So I was like, "How did you get this uh, gig? How did you like land this?" Because mm-hmm. I'm trying to go on the road with somebody, you know. And he told me like, "You got to learn how to do other shit." He's like, plenty of guys are, are just funny. You gotta, you gotta offer more than that today. And he was filming and doing all this shit, like editing for for Callan at the time. So, that's then I started doing it. So if not for if not for him, I mean, I mean, like, I'd still be, you know, scrapping for <coughs> spots and stuff like that, and just like barely doing anything. But because <clears throat> because he inspired me to. To do that, to be more than just a funny guy, then, uh, yeah. So, I'll, yeah, that's why now when headliners come through, a lot of the time now, especially, they're asking, like, hey, can we, you yeah. got anyone to film? So, like, Keith will hit me up. Nice. Yeah. You get extra bucks for that, though? Yeah, because the, the comedian pays me, mm. whoever it is. So, is that your camera? The one I have, Yeah. The one I record my stuff mm-hmm. with, but they have one in the club now too. Oh, do they? Yeah, they you... bought like a house camera, which mostly we'll use for um, if I because mine's better, mm-hmm. but uh, so it's different. And also, I can be there, fucking moving yeah. it and like changing shit. But this one's set up there. Um, but yeah, sometimes I'll still get hit up to do it, and then also all the open mics, all of comedians will be like. I'm the guy who runs that mm. shit. I also run the Instagram. Oh, it doesn't matter. But um, the socials for wise guys, yeah. Nice. Got for them. all all of them out here, just as well. Here. Someone else does Vegas, but well, um, I mean, all of them here. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just one account, but it advertises for all three clubs. Oh, yeah. Um, got them up from got them from twelve thousand to twenty thousand. Nice. In like fucking a couple months, so nothing crazy. But hell yeah. But yeah, the camera's nice for like yeah comedians. I mean, they your listeners don't give a fuck about this. So I learned about how to film, so I could, so that when a headliner came through, and I have pitched it to them, I've been like, hey, I can film, I can host, I can be clean, I cannot be, I can edit, and nothing. Mm. It's so frustrating, dude. Because it's like. 
Because I, I mean, you know, not to be well, disparaging, but, but I'll see some of these fucking openers that these people bring. And I'm like, yeah. are you kidding me? I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've, I've been getting a little frustrated because I'm, I've been having people that ask me to be here and then they won't share my shit. And so I'm like... I'm, like they ask to <clears throat> come on the show? Yeah. And they don't... Yeah. Okay. So like I, 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 I ended up posting something... On my story that I screenshot and I'm gonna I'm gonna post it and I'm gonna repost it every now and then because it's like if you don't share everything that I do, like all the work that I put after you walk out of here, like all the clips and all the shit that I do, mm-hmm. like you simply do not care about the work that I do. Sure, so you just came here, you say, oh, this is who I am, this is what I got to show, and then after peace. and after I'm done, peace. And I'm like, no, motherfucker, you sharing my shit. It's how I get paid. Right, right, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean, like that, and 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 it's not much for you to share yeah but yeah so i got a little ticked off and it was it was a couple of them and 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 he gets discouraged i mean i get discouraged i'm like yeah it's tough man this for? it's tough bro yeah. it's tough to be self-motivated you know yeah. i mean shit i felt the same way about my podcast oh <laughs> you were telling me this story about then, what that guy said yeah oh yeah <laughs> yeah i mean it's cool it's always nice to have Fans yeah. coming up to you after stuff, but yeah, when he was like, "I'm one of the 80 people who watch your show," I'm like, "Okay, all right." <laughs> you feel special? Or you're fucking. <laughs> I mean, no, it's I'm just, not. It's so you, weird. You're asking yeah. them, I'm yeah. like, "Would you feel special? Or you right. just fucking want to break my balls?" I mean, <laughs> you should feel special. He's <laughs> part of a very select, a very exclusive club. You but should say, "Are you one of the thousands to watch my reels, motherfucker?" Millions, bitch. Yeah, probably. So you get him, whore. Oh, it was Probably. a woman. No, it was nice. a guy. Oh. Um, and then I think he gave me a card for his window cleaning business. I don't have any windows that need to be cleaned, but if I do, I'll... Yeah, yeah, I know who to call. But it's... Yeah, man, it's tough. It's tough to, like, keep it going. But that's, like... It's, just, it's not that different from stand-up. That's how I thought about it going in to my mm-hmm. podcast. I was like... I mean, for... I mean, I did, you know open mics for years performing in front of fucking nobody and just bombing my ass off. So it's like, I feel like I, I owe my podcast at least that. Yeah. You know, the only thing that I can say that is different now is that I'm actually having, like I, I I'm having episodes with people that I want to have. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Like, obviously there was, uh, um, there was a couple of episodes I did with Justin and I was just like, I don't know how I want to pull this off. Right. Like, this is not my thing. I mean, I, 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 I talk about it before. We, we would do, because he, Justin is a MMA number one fan. So when we, when we had fighters, I, it was like, I would dread it. I was like, oh, fuck. Just because Talking I, about gu- uh, guillotine, <clears throat> guillotines and fucking. But just because I don't want to be that, that guy that's like, wh- what inspires you? Like, I hate just being like yeah. so profound into like, what inspires you to fight? Yeah, you what, don't know any specifics. Where does that fire? I'm like, right. get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah, I was yeah, like, hey, yeah. how do you cut weight? Because I need to lose weight, too. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, how do you feel when you get your ass, your fucking face busted? But um, speaking of that, my, our friend Eric, uh, he's the one who signed those gloves over there. He's he he's fighting again. Uh-huh. And the only reason why I'm saying this is because all over his, his Instagram. Oh yeah, uh, and he he asked me. Well, he's a friend of ours. He's a friend of mine, and mm-hmm. and and I flat out told him. I says, "Hey, how about?" Because he's like, "Hey, you want to talk about the fight before before I fight?" And I said, "How about this?" I'm like, "Because I don't have Justin here anymore, so we're not gonna attack the MMA fights. But how about this? We're homies. Come hang out, and we'll go over the fight. Sure, but come spend some but time, like you and I way. right now. Yeah, like yeah, you and yeah. I right now. We're talking about yeah, all the hot cousins stupid and, hot cousins yeah. and stupid <laughs> having kids at 15. Yeah. And then, you know, and then uh, at the end of the episode, we'll tell them, you know, where to find the drugs that you sell. Right. But, yeah, yeah. but you know, it's like. I, I, I wish, d- dude. <laughs> at least I'd have some fucking money. So broke. <laughs> Let's have you shove this thing in your mouth and then we can get out of here. All right. Uh, here. Gancito. Yeah, dude. This looks good. These look, what, these look like little Twinkies. Yeah, but chocolate Twinkies. You want one? You have one. I'm gonna die, dude. I'm already breaking right. it with this. Oh yeah, carbs. All right, this is Marinella. Marinella is the is the maker. Gansito. What does a gansito mean? Ganso is like a like a goose. 
So Gansito's been like a like a small goose. Like a small goose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we gotta we gotta I gotta take it to a Mexican restaurant. We're gonna do this. Remember I told you this last time when you opened for or you hosted for Callan. I said, do it. I have this piece of content it's delicious. I want to do with you. Yeah, that make a great vlog. And then this one is just a or a vlog. It's just a cookie with like marshmallow. This is one of my favorites too. This one's gonna get everywhere, but punch. Sponge. Hey, that's in that's in, in English. Sponge, marshmallow cookies, coconut and strawberry. Artificially flavored, huh? Yeah, well, you know, going back to uh, oh, obese Mexicans. It's gonna pop the whole fucking thing. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That one's made out of vegetables. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's made out of kale. Dry as fuck, ain't it? <laughs> Very dry. Put too much in my mouth. <laughs> but you know what, though? If you don't, you will bite it and it will fucking... Get everywhere. I did it for you. The marshmallow makes it very difficult. Yeah. You want to get out of here so I tell you my story about getting molested? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, that's why I'm here. <laughs> that's right. Um, it's been fun, bro. Yeah. Um, well, tell people where they can find you, where they can find your OnlyFans, your special, your... Um, Trey J. Lamb on Instagram, Trey Lamb on TikTok, Trey Lamb probably on YouTube, um, TreyLamb.com. <laughs> uh, I got to update it, but you can get merch there. You can see what shows I got coming up. I'm in Ogden. June seventh and eighth during the Ogden Car Show, so that'll be a oh. fucking nightmare. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've done it twice. Mm -hmm. I I figured this. It took me it took me two years to figure this out. That when Keith offers me a show <laughs> in the summer, that it's because it's no one wants to do it. No one wants to do it in the summer. <laughs> it's tough to do. I've learned that it's. In places that have shitty winters, like hard winters, mm -hmm. summer's the worst time for comedy. Because oh, everyone's been... Everyone's out. Yeah, because we got nice weather finally. But in the places that are hot, summer is better. Because they want to they do shit, but they want to be cool. They want to be get too hot. Yeah, yeah. So like Phoenix in the summer is good. New Mexico in the summer is good. Mm, Texas in sense. the summer is good. Um, anyway, so I'm doing... Friday will be during the Ogden Car Show, so it's 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 a lot of fun to be on stage and just fucking hearing engines revving. <laughs> it's it's like you know what I tell you. Hey, it's like hold on, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dominic Toretto out here. I'm yeah, sorry, exactly. Fucking doing donuts. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I like to live my life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> Nothing means more to me than family. Um, and then, so that's 7th and 8th. The Saturday show will be better because the show won't be happening. Or the car show won't be happening. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's funny, last year I did it too. Same, same fucking weekend. I was like, damn it. But the only reason I chose that weekend was because I'm also headlining Jordan Landing. Oh, okay. At the end of July. Like, the last weekend of July. <clears throat> so Keith hit me with some dates. He's like, which one of these? And I chose the one that was the furthest away. To give more time to sell tickets and yeah, yeah, yeah. create a buzz. But I fucked myself in the process. So Ogden, June 7th and 8th. Jordan Landing, July, end of July, I think 28th or something. And then hosting. And I'm waiting to hear about Skankfest. That mm. would be fucking sick. They come in here? No, it's in or Vegas. You go, you go, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. that's right, that's but I know, I know some people who have gotten in, and if they got in... You get in. There's no reason I shouldn't. But I haven't, oh. and I've submitted. Yo, but how about... Um, do, do you ever think of uh, Kill Tony? I've done it. You have? Mm -hmm. I was I was like 21 or 22. I just moved to LA. Oh, nice. And it was like my... I think it was my second time going to Kill Tony. And I got called first. Which oh, damn. You don't even expect to get called. But you definitely don't think it's going to be first. And I was. And I was like all the way. I don't know. Have you been to the comedy store in L.A.? Oh. So it's like they have the stage. They have the they have the stage and then their main seating area. And then it goes back. 
And then, but they have like, us kind of, you know, on the sides, they have like a, like a little wall that separates like this kind of, the wings from the main mm -hmm. crowd, whatever, but you can get, you got to go around. I was all the way at the end of the wing and they had those, it was tables like these where, you know, this is next to the wall and then you're so close together. Anyway, point is, I had to get up, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, and Excuse me, excuse me. And then go all the way down, and it's the beginning of the show. People are f flooding in still because it's the very first comic. It took me, it, it took me so long to get to the stage <laughs> just from get, trying to fucking get through people. Yeah. I was so nervous, Angel, that like, and and I was just trying, but I was I, I couldn't think of my jokes oh, or my joke. You know, for the minute, because I was trying to fucking navigate and get well, it's there. A, it's a minute, huh? It's a minute of stand-up. And I get there, Andrew Schultz was the guest. Oh, damn, dude. To add to that. <laughs> yeah. So I get up and I do the, you know, I I did this joke. I did an early joke of mine. It's a cute one. <laughs> um, I don't really do it anymore. but And I got a laugh. Mm -hmm. I got a laugh, but I was visibly nervous. I was so, so nervous, but it got a laugh, and then the interview after was pretty boring, but <laughs> but I knew that um, Schultz went to my college, we went to the same college, oh, nice. so we were talking about that, and then we were talking about like just people mm -hmm. that we knew from that area, and so it was chill, nice. it was chill, I didn't make an ass of myself, that's what I'm mostly... Nice happy about is like the joke did fine and then i've scoured the comments too <laughs> see if anyone's talking about me and then like even a couple of people are like yeah that joke is actually good he just you know he didn't get enough credit or he just didn't you know he's nervous or yeah, stuff yeah. like that but it was cool and i haven't done it since i don't really care to mm. honestly i mean it could be fun but I, it would be but like I don't think I'm what they're looking for. I've seen it enough times, and I've known about it for so long. And you see the people who pop from it. It's like, you got to be doing something. Like Casey Rocket, do you know that guy? Mm. He's one of the newest, he's like one of the newest regulars on Kill Tony, just announced. Okay. And he is, I think he's a genius. But his, like, people describe his set as like an ADHD trip or like a nightmare of ADHD because it's just so fucking sporadic. Mm. He's not up there just telling set up punch. He's just saying shit that is just so fun. Like he'll get up there, you know, and he'll just be like real trap shit and just out of nowhere. And then be like, yeah, guys, I got to get out of here. I got to go uh, watch monster truck videos at full volume while my <laughs> girlfriend tries to go to sleep. <laughs> like, Babe, wake up. Grave diggers, grave diggers having a, going on a spree. <laughs> Or he'd be like, I got a guy out of here. Uh, Putin's trying to triangulate my position right now. <laughs> just, he just And it's just boom, 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 boom. He's so fucking funny, dude. You got to check him out. Because <laughs> it's like he's doing... It's interesting to see this shit because it's like we're doing the same thing. We're all doing comedy. But it's so cool to see someone doing it so, like, just yeah, yeah. So, so different and so out there. And he's fucking funny, man. So I've seen that kid that uh, I, I I don't know his name. I'm better. The one who looks like he's 14. No, I'm better oh. with face. I seen that one, yeah. but I've seen the, uh, this uh, kid because obviously younger than me. But it's uh, he came out there and saying like, "Hey, tell us something about you." And he goes, "Well, I'm not." And this is exactly what he says: "I'm not retarded, but I like rocks." I like rocks. Yeah, and goes, Cam Patterson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what it is. yeah, he's coming here. Oh, is he? Yeah. I think he's doing Jordan think Landing. I'm not retarded, but I like rocks. Yeah. And then he had rocks in his pocket. <laughs> and Tony lost it. They all did, yeah. Yeah, that guy's blowing you up know right who, now. You know who is, who my uh, algo has a bunch of? And i never even seen her. That uh, Lauren... Uh, uh, she, she, her last name is a fucking town in California. Lauren Bakersfield. No, where the gangsters live. Oakland. No. Uh, Compton. Compton. Lauren Compton. Is that right? what it is? Laura. Uh, Laura Compton. Lauren. Lauren. It might be. Is it Compton? Blonde it, chick. It's not South Central. Huge knock. I didn't say that. I said right. a town in California. Right. 
It might be Compton. That's where the gang suit live. Yeah, Lauren Compton. Yeah. She's so hot, though. Oh. I don't... I think... Is she the one who's touring with Bert and them? I think so. Yeah, Big people just knockers. tell me about her. I don't know. I don't know her stuff. Come I'm not on, familiar man. with her. Well, I don't know her fucking comedy. Sure. <laughs> I know her clip. I don't, I, I don't so even know what was, she looks but like. But he was with, he was with her. Uh-huh. Like, she has a podcast. But she is under the umbrella of the YMC. The YMC, the... Uh, YMH. YMH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They're getting everybody now. Yeah, they just got yeah. Ari, too. You saw that? You didn't really? He's doing a travel show with them. Produced Yo, by Yo, how YMH. funny it is to see Ari in uh, at the mothership, and he looks more like shit than Ron White. <laughs> Ron White looks good, man. Dude, but, but that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. He's, like, letting the hair grow. He's, yeah. He's bald. He, he looks fuck, like dude. shit. He doesn't give a shit. He doesn't he's, give he's a He's a fucking fuck. monster. That's, like, what... Yeah, he's such a true comedian. Yeah, because it's like, you know, the same way like, like David Tell is yeah. a true yeah. comedian. Like, you know, when you see these guys who have like a great life and they got the wife and kids, or they got the family going, and it's like, yeah, my life is great all around, and I and I do comedy and I'm a successful successful comedian. It's like that's not what we should be hoping for. <laughs> The goal, like, you should be homeless looking, like fucking yeah, David Tell. Like, yeah, and Ari, these are guys who have literally dedicated, get, given, dedicated their lives and sacrificed, yeah, a normal life for comedy. Yeah, that's the intensity that I think we should all be bringing to this shit. I love a tail. I just yeah. saw him and uh, a few weeks ago. He was with uh, Santino in his yeah. on his podcast, and I had to. Watch. I haven't heard Santino in a while, but I had to. I had to listen to that. I love a tail. Yeah. Do you ever watch the uh, bumping mics? Yeah, it's all right. You don't like it? Jeff Ross ruins everything, I feel like. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that. <clears throat> um, Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> Telling your social, that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, Trey J. Lamb and Trey Lamb. You'll figure it out <laughs> from there. Uh, come see c- me in Ogden, come see me in Jordan Landing, and then I'm always at Wise Guys. Hell yeah. Uh, you can catch this show on How Did It Get So Good on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. You can find me at Angel Severa on Instagram, Angel Severa on Facebook. That's my last name, C-E-R-V-E-R-A. And until next time, thanks, dude. Thank you. Do it again. Hell yeah. Let's do it soon. Hell yeah. You should bring a bunch of your buddies here and we'll fucking get I was going to I meant to ask you. Yeah, next time for I'll, sure. I can bring my roommate. He hunts pedophiles. Yeah. Would you like that? I'm, hell That'd yeah. Be interesting. Okay. Yeah. I'll show you some we'll get, stuff. We'll get shit face. Yeah. Yeah. Till next time, this has been How Did It Get So Good. Thank you.